My name is uh, Mr. Sonny C. Ebo, Head of Marketing Fundraising, St. Remy Foundation. St. Remy Foundation is non-governmental, no charitable organization, registered to cater for people with renal diseases. Here we are at number 4B, Ola Johnson. We are a boy of 24 years old, Jamachi Chukweke, who hails from Imo State. And uh, we are here as a foundation who cater for people with renal diseases. Come and see. Please, can you come? Yeah, come in. Yeah, can we just go straight to the apartment of Jamachi and his uh, poor widow mother? Uh, yeah, oh, thank you. Come sir, come sir. Come you are welcome sir. You are welcome, come sir. Uh, my name is Chemachi uh, Chikweke from Imbo State. Um, I'm 24 years old. I wanted to be a doctor actually. Yeah, I play football because football is everything I, I drink when all this started. As a student of Yabate, the thing that really happened to me was my left side of my stomach. I was having pain there actually. And I couldn't urinate or could toilet. it. And um, my, my mom took me to the, the hospital for a checkup. And they told me I had kidney disease. And, and from there, I've been down. And since yeah. then, my poor widow mother has been, has spent Hundred thousand a week on dialysis. So basically, uh, I've been begging um, all Nigerians to please um, see if any way they can be of help to me. They can be helped by rendering um, some amount to me. I need 10 million to go to just between India for kidney transplant. I've tried everything, everything. My name is Elizabeth Chukweke. I'm from Edo State, married an Igbo man in Imo State, where they not. I lost my husband in 2001. Since then, it has not been easy, only low to bring this student up. This boy was seven years when the father died while the senior was eight years. One morning, my son woke up, started telling that he is having pain by the left side. And that was the period he just got an admission. So I said, ah, what is it? He said, he's feeling pain here. I was thinking it's just malaria, so I had to take him to the hospital. Got him there, they did all the tests and they diagnosed everything and then they find out that he has a, a kidney infection that is killing kidney disease. Ever since then, it has not been easy for me all alone. Going up and down, begging in the streets, did not think have I not sold. I did not even see any member of my family, the family, no nowhere to be found, all alone as a widow. From the 6th of March 2017, when they discovered the kidney disease, T9 has been on dialysis. Every week I'm spending 100,000 naira for dialysis. And it has not been easy. No help from anybody, no help from the father's side, no help from anywhere. I've sold everything I have to be able to sustain this boy to this stage. So I got one day, I met a, a boy that himself, they, they used to go to dialysis, they, they sent me in dialysis session. That's why I met this boy, told me that there's one foundation. So he gave me the address, I traced the place, I go to St. Jeremy's Foundation. When I get there, I narrated everything to them. From there, they took off the case. Right now, they are in my house with me here. We need 10 million naira to fly this boy to India in Apollo Hospital for his transplant. So I'm begging all Nigerians to please, to please, because I know Nigerians, they are good people. Nigerians, they are lovely people. And I love Nigeria. So I'm begging you, please, this is the only son I have. 
please, Nigeria, please help me. This is the only son I have, so please help me. I'm begging you to to please help me. <laughs> My name is Obeta Remy Juice. And I am the coordinator of St. Remy Foundation. St. Remy Foundation is a, a charitable, non profit, non governmental organization. It is established actually to contribute to global efforts of curtailing the excesses of renal health challenges. It was duly incorporated in the 20th day of month of October 2015, after fulfilling all the requirements of the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Presently, we have a case in our hands, the one we just seen on camera. He is a young boy, about 24 years old. He's a Shukweke, Yamachi. I'm surviving a son of a widow who lost where father a couple of years back, about 17 years, was all diagnosed to be having this uh, deadly disease. And the mother, the, the widow, has finished all they have. He, she's always uh, on the streets looking for help and looking for those to support. Whatever she gets is being drained on daily basis because the young man is on hemodialysis uh, twice, two sessions a week. It ought to be three sessions in a week but because the resources are not there. That is why the young boy is just managing to have two sessions of dialysis a week. And that has actually to be drained the resources of the family. So when they came to us for, for help, we accepted him. We have taken over his, in that challenge. And from any moment from now, we'll be talking to people, we'll be seeking the collaboration partnerships donations, support from kind hearted and various appropriate organizations to save this young boy that still has a lot to offer. We just opened an account for him so that kind hearted individuals can make their donations into that account. It's a dedicated account for the purpose of his transplant operation. We're asking people to make support, to donate to that account and pray along also that at the end of the day they will go for the kidney uh, transplant operation successfully. Incidentally, the costs of the transplant operation as presented to us, because we are not a hospital, we deal with information presented to us. Currently he is on dialysis at he, that he does the dialysis at Killing Stripes. He's a, he's a, he's a, a, a health facility located somewhere around Lake. So they came with, uh, to us with the medical reports. And the cost, as estimated by the uh, health facility, is about 10 million men. So the, being a foundation, it's not as if we have where we draw our budget. We rely on people, kind of individuals, organizations to come to the aid of this year. So any time from now, We'll be using all channels to talk to people to come to this aid. And once we are done with him, we will look for another person who also needs support in this area. We are also going to establish our drug, a drug um, aspect of it so that those who are either preparing for daily transplant operation will have be able to assess the drugs they take on a regular basis, either at zero cost to them or at a highly reduced cost to them. We know this looks foolish, but we believe that the way we are going and collaborations and partnership of governments, individuals and corporate organizations will be able to you know, play our part or contribute to this global effort of reducing the Fellow Nigerians, kind-hearted individuals, corporate organizations, 
we are using this opportunity to plead to you to join us to save this young Nigeria. No amount is small, no amount is too small. One naira has reduced this 10 million. 1,000 will be accepted, then 1 million can be accepted. Anything that one's heart asks him to do will be very appreciated. And we are saying as a foundation, we know that there is a trust deficit in this part of the world. But we know where we are coming from and we are promising Nigeria that whatever, any single donation, one naira that they donate towards this project will be utilized to the best of our ability.